Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another five minute card video. Today we're gonna do some embossing and then we're gonna stencil on top to make a really pretty holiday card. So I've just used some embossing magic on a piece of white card stock and now I'm gonna ink up a background stamp using some Versamark ink. The background stamp that I'm using is the Petite Flourish background stamp, but you can use any background stamp as long as it's got some small details to it. Then I'm going to place this piece of cardstock on top of my stamp. And then I'm just using the liner sheet from the back of this rubber stamp to make sure that I get good contact all over the surface of this cardstock. Now once that's done, I'm going to use some fine detail white embossing powder. And I'm gonna use a big piece of cardstock to apply it. So this way I can sprinkle it all over the surface. Now once that's done, I'm gonna use my Wagner heat tool and I'm going to emboss this and get that beautiful design in there. Now this is a little bit difficult to hold, so I'm gonna do one side and then I'm gonna flip it around and do the other side. Now this is definitely the longest part of the card. So if I go over just a few seconds, keep in mind that in my last five minute card project, I was only four and a half minutes, so we'll just call it even from last week. <laughs> All right, so I'm just finishing up the embossing process here. I wanna make sure you get all the edges embossed too. You don't want that powder sliding around on your stenciling. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Stellar Snowflake stencil. You can use any stencil you want that has a big design like this, but this is a perfect stencil for this design. I wanna make sure that it's even top to bottom and then I'm going to kind of just overlap the side just a little bit so I don't get any ink over there. All right. And then I'm gonna tape that down just to make sure everything stays in place. Now my first color is going to be some of the Gina K Designs Turquoise C. And I'm going to ink up three areas. I'm gonna start over here like that. Then I'm going to come in over here from the side and then do a little bit up this side here. Then I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs Wild Wisteria ink and I'm gonna work my way into those other areas. Wild Wisteria and Turquoise Sea are such a beautiful blend together they create such a beautiful periwinkle. Now I'm gonna go back with that turquoise C and just blend over the lines between the colors to create more of that periwinkle color. And once that's done, I'm going to lift up the stencil and reveal my design. Then I have a piece of paper towel. I'm just gonna wipe the excess off, anything that's sitting on top of that embossing powder. And then I'm going to adhere this panel onto a black panel. Both of these panels were cut with the Master Layouts one die set, but you can also use Master Layouts two for a little bit of a smaller snowflake design. Then I'm going to adhere that onto my card base. And then I've cut a small strip sentiment here, and I'm going to use some ThermoWeb foam squares. And what I've done is I've cut them in half, as you can see, and I'm going to put them just on the back there because these are very tiny. The perfect size for this. And then I'm going to place that right across the center of the snowflake, just like that. So there's my finished card. Now, if you wanna step it up a little bit, grab your disco ball sequins and add sequins to the design to create a little bit of sparkle. 
So there's today's five minute card project. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give this card a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card projects and more live videos. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again real soon.